At times the Lord is heavy, at times the road is long. When circumstances come your way and you think you can't go on, when you're feeling at your weakest, Jesus will be strong. He'll provide the answers when you found all hope is gone. He'll find a way. sunset and put the stars in place. I know if He can raise up mountains and calm the storm-tossed waves, and if He could conquer death forever and open heaven's gates, then I know for you He'll see breaking with the pain that's so intense all you hold are broken pieces of a life that makes no sense he wants to lift you up and hold you and manage torn events he'll pick up the pieces that you thought have all been find a way For I know that if He could paint the sunset and put the stars in place I know if He can raise up mountains and calm the storm-tossed waves and if He could conquer death forever services. Uh, thank you for fellowship. We pray for those that are on their way. They'll be able to get here. And then uh, let's bless our fellowship today. Uh, it's a good day, Father's Day. And you are our Heavenly Father in Heaven. And we thank you. So bless our day. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> Uh, 16 let's start at 11 we uh, went through that what is it? so 11 the AF but uh, thou O man of God flee 
these things and follow after righteousness, godliness, faithfulness, patience, meekness, before she died, everything I told her, I need to give a lot of uh, some uh, corruption that can take place in the church and uh, even the uh, wrong doctrine and then behavior would uh, also be wrong if you have wrong doctrine you want to behave different also and uh, so the uh, Timothy was told flee those things you know in my Christian life I always thought that uh, I wrote uh, on the edge of my Bible like here go ye was the word I put on my Bible. <laughs> That's probably the first word or one of the important words that I heard is that ye go into the world. Go ye. But, um, so as a Christian I believe that we need to see that we need to be doing something <clears throat> for the Lord. And so that's what I see here. Uh, you have your your own life that can uh, be taking, taking place and he's told to flee. Flee those things, but follow. If you're going to flee something, you're going to have to follow something also, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have your past, you have your future. <clears throat> if you're going to live, then you're going to follow somebody. And I think that's uh, probably what we're doing as believers. And uh, <clears throat> that makes us uh, at, uh, have a different change in us. So follow after righteousness. That's a good word, righteousness. And that just uh, has to do with right living that comes from the Bible. What the Lord uh, is uh, trying to help us with is right living, right kind of life, <coughs> righteousness. And if you go back to Romans 4, uh, God <coughs> actually imputed his righteousness into us. He declared us right with him. Uh, and if that happened, I'm sure we would live a life that he told us to live. Okay. So right, right, righteousness, right living. And and then we have godliness. So godliness uh, is just a, probably the opposite of uh, being bad. You know, a person that is godly is going to follow the Lord, follow God. The ungodly are not going to do that. They're going to have their own... Uh, uh, the own ways. So godliness is good. 
And they were talking, putting a lot of thought on that. And, uh, and that uh, would be good. And then we have faith, faith, faith. And my favorite verse, or one of the verses I remember, is in Hebrew 11, 6. But without God, it is impossible to please Him. For he that cometh to God must believe that He is and that He is the rewarder of them that diligently seek Him. Without faith. He said, without God. Oh, without, without faith, okay, without faith. <laughs> okay, you know, the, the program sometimes uh, doesn't see that, yeah, in my memory, you're thinking something, but you're saying something else. <laughs> Not so little. Uh, so, uh, without faith, oh, it is impossible. So faith is going to get you somewhere, yeah. You must believe. That's an interesting thought, man. Like, uh -huh. It's impossible, the Bible says. Wow. Uh, so there are some of the things that we learn. And... Uh, you know, what, what uh, brings you here yet yeah, this morning? What, what brought you? Faith. Your father has some faith yet. Yeah. Do you believe that today is Sunday? Do you believe that today is the resurrection, the marks of resurrection? And many other things, I'm sure, fellowship too, you know, you can have fellowship. And you can uh, charge up and say we're headed in the same direction. Uh, let's uh, get in there and uh, fight that 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 person, that devil, mm -hmm. the world, and uh, just uh, self. And then, uh, and that's what we're here for. I, I, that's what we're actually doing. We're not saying that. I'm sure somebody will say uh, where we are here. Yeah, you know those people that miss are missing out. Yeah, you know those that they may listen to online, but a lot of times they're not going to give online. Yeah. You're not going to shake somebody's hand online. You're not going to encourage somebody online. You're not going to sing with somebody and uh, all many other things that we do. And you're not going to see. So it's good when uh, we need it, but there are times that we need to be in church. Uh, my my son was telling me. Uh, he said uh, they have doing been doing uh, online for since the uh, COVID, and you know a lot of people have been missing church because of it. <clears throat> so the pastor went away. He said. So that Sunday he has a decision to make. Shall we do it online again? And he said decide that we won't do it today. Until he gets back he, he can do it, but he said let's not do it today. And uh, <clears throat> I'm sure he did it uh, Wednesday night the same way. So I think the pastor wanted to wait for like a week or more. So next time to come, you know, people showed up. No, you had not People that they used to come showed up. And uh, they said, that actually boosts our 
our attendance, he said. So when the pastor came back, he had uh, a lot of people here for service. So I think they decided to just discontinue that after that. <clears throat> so it, it's, it's real good help like for some that can't make it you know you have no choice but but to, that's the best not to be in here and that that would be good you know there, there are not many that, that uh, can uh, say that uh, like Dali Abel Maisekea and then the young is working so yeah, there's no way of being here. The best uh, not saying is to listen. And there are probably others. And so it's been good. So I like fellowship. And on a sudden Sunday is here this morning. I even almost forgot what she looks like. <laughs> uh, you know, sometimes people change their hairstyle too. And you wonder, is that the same person? Mm -hmm. uh, they might dye their hair and uh, they look like... Mm -hmm. I want to say, hey, we have a visitor this morning. And then you'll find out that's the same person. You've been saying, of course, uh, it's good. Oh, uh, uh, you know, uh, you hear her voice, yeah. But then we net us a hit our deep stuff. You hear it and then you, it blends into the fellowship. And I like that faith, your everybody keep faith and then that's his love. How can we share love, yeah? Mm -hmm. The best way is here. Mm -hmm. And giving the, the things that we do in churches mm -hmm. are expression of love. <coughs> Without that, we don't have that. And, uh, and so, love, when you have you seen, uh, many ways to show it, and many ways to reveal it. And she, Not necessarily things. You know, they're good in the, what we do. Okay, next is patience. Patience, say your heart. Patience, I know you. You know, that's all it is, you know, patience. Uh, we're waiting for the coming of the Lord, yeah. And, uh, you know, in this uh, second book, uh, Timothy was told to preach the word in season, when, when it's, uh, he's uh, open for it, and then out of season when he's not even allowed, maybe. Sometimes you hit that spot sometimes and uh, you're not told to preach or you feel like saying something so you open up and do it. And uh, so it's good to have patience, yeah, so that he, I'll hang in there with, with the group on meekness. Is not for another degree of uh, character where you are, you know, the grandma's use of, you know, you left might be an example. I don't, I kind of think I know you left. But and then uh, he might pray somebody for their action, and then somebody knows that 
Let's say I'm talking about Lula. Lula. Uh, she has a big face. Uh, she's a, a help. And then Sunday might say, she's not really that way. <laughs> you know, she knows her more than I do. So, uh, you know, Lula has, has a lot of uh, character that we saw in her, and I can say uh, that without hesitation. Uh, but uh, some others might say, hey, that, that's not true. And the same thing about me. You know, the person you hear might be the only person you know, but what does he do when, when he's not in church? And then my children would know that. And you know, I got, I, you know so I got new glasses. I, I used to keep poking at it, and that became a habit. Even though it's sitting right, I keep going like this. It's sitting right, but you know that habit I pick up from uh, having that one was out of shape, like crooked, like this, and I keep poking at it to keep it straight so I look okay and uh, it seems that I'm uh, doing it with the new glasses that I have on and uh, so and uh, so meekness and then verse 12 fight the good fight of faith mm-hmm. remember he just said faith before now he says there's a fight so our faith is actually a fight. Yeah. And uh, I remember reading Nehemiah or Ezra. And uh, he was uh, told to come down to the valley of Ono. And then uh, Nehemiah said, I can't come down. You know, he has a fight. Yeah, he fought to do. Uh, he can't take a trip. Just for a trip sake, yeah. Uh, Hako, come see us. Let's go fishing. Hey, I've got something more important than that. And uh, I remember my wife was uh, telling me, Grandma, Grandma from Shanto was would have a big... Uh, uh, celebration for just her life and then they happened to have a Christian school uh, raising some money and she was saying that there's this one that happened on the same day and I said uh, Christian school is going to be for, for eternity but this other celebration is going to be just for that day and they actually got cancelled, so my prediction came true. And uh, so, so we have the fight, the yeah, fight, uh, and uh, so we, I guess we, we'll practice our faith, yeah. That would be a fight, practice it. Why do you believe? How are you going to show it? Yeah, we need to show it. Fight the fight of faith, and then it says, "Lo, he lay hold on eternal life, where unto thou art also called, and has professed a good profession before many witnesses." And uh, that might be a, a, the whole thing. They might sit together, the fight, and then the holding, and then there's a confession before people. And I think I have a verse like first. Uh, 
was in second John, maybe second John or third John, but second John is uh, where I'm going to take a look. It says Second John two eight, I mean one eight. Look to yourselves that that we lose not those things which we have wrought, but that we receive a full reward. So that tells me that we might not receive the full reward yet. And we got it. Like that, the fall, you might lose some of it. Probably by what we do. So, uh, I believe that's why he's saying that uh, you, you fight. You keep uh, on, keep uh, hanging on to eternal life. Uh, to which you are called your faith and has professed a good profession before many witnesses you know the witnesses that are here and you know the angels that have witnessed our profession yes so angels and then the heavenly hosts probably looking at us and uh, so we, we actually are witness before a whole lot of people and even the unsaved world that know that we became a Christian a Koichi <coughs> profession huh? and then 13 I give chart I keep the charts in the sight of God, who quickeneth all things, and before Christ Jesus, who before Pontius Pilate witnessed a good confession, you know, he went all the way to uh, Jesus' confession, so he's using the Lord, and he's using the charge. A command. Uh, he makes everything alive. He makes things life. And then, uh, you know, he confesses for Pilot. So how about hang in there like that, all the way mm -hmm. to the cross? Yeah, whatever you're going to suffer. Let's say. And that thou keep this commandment without spot, unrebukable until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. So actually that's a, a charge, is a command. And uh, so how can you not keep it? Uh, what we need to do, yeah. Okay. That'll be good. Uh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for uh, this hour. We pray for the rest of our day. Thank you for praying in Jesus' name. Amen.